Hey, welcome back. Well, I have uh, all the lines in now. Some of them I have insulated. Distribution panel is finally completed. And today, I'm going to turn this water line on and then turn this one on, which is going to go to the water heater, which will come over to here and just make a complete loop and then go back to coming out right here. And then I'm going to take my chart, which I have right Take my chart, which I have made up here, and I'm going to turn the hot water onto the tub, and then I'm going to try the cold water to the tub. All these other ones I will turn them on as well, but the only thing that will actually be running today and actually come out is going to be this tub valve here because all the other ones are capped off. So I will be checking for leaks at all the caps. This is the only CB, CPBZ fitting. I decided to use it for the toilet. Don't know why, I just did. So I'll be putting a spout on there to make the water go down. And uh, I'll turn the hot on first, and then I'll turn it off, and then I'll turn the cold on, and then I'll turn it off, and I should get water each time through each line. So that's what's going to happen today. All right, I've turned the water on outside. This is where I wanted to check for leaks as it's coming in, and I see nothing there. Water came all the way up to the pipe to right there. It's holding level at that, which means the line's pressurized with air. Okay, now the water I'm gonna Turn on some more valves, and there it goes. It took off. It's heading over here somewhere now on this side, but it's going to go around and go over to the hot water side, which means it will be delivering water to these hot water valves right here. So you saw it take off, so what I want to do now is I'm going to turn on the tub valve, which is this one right here, and send it over to the tub on the hot side, seeing if there's any leaks coming out over there. And I see nothing coming out over here. Okay, go back over here and turn on the cold water side to the tub. Okay, that's the cold water side to the tub. And I got nothing coming out there. What I'm going to do is turn on all the other lines now. I'm going to open all these up and supply water to every fixture in here or at least air pressure. Okay. All right, and this one here is going to be the hot water to the kitchen sink. These valves are new and they're stiff. This is the hot water to the vanity. This is the hot water to the washer valve. Okay, now let's go over here. I'm gonna check for leaks. I don't see any there. Don't see any there. None there. 
And I'm going to shoot right through here. Look at the kitchen. Now they look like they're holding just fine as well. Like they should. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off hot water to the tub and I'm going to turn off the cold water to the tub. Then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to pull that cap off, put a spout on it, and then run each line one at a time, turn on each line once and run some air out of the line. So let me get that done. I have a helper gonna turn the cold water side onto the tub for me now. So go ahead, cold water side. Yippee! Okay, turn the cold water off, please. Very good. Now turn the hot water on, please. still on the line. Okay, turn the hot water off. I think that was a success. Maybe next we'll try the washer valves. We'll see. Okay, got a hose, got a bucket, got a washer valve. Here we go. Oh yeah. Better shut that off. That'll fill up real quick. All right. Now I'm gonna move on over to the hot water. All righty. Here comes the hot water. Oh yeah. Off. This is Steve AZ 7-Eleven saying hope all your plumbing work goes very easy and that you have a good day. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching.